in the UK, they've released this really random, they've released this like really random flavor of Coca-Cola in the UK. It's um, Diet Cola, right? But it's exotic mango. It's mango flavored Coca-Cola. By the way, our bottles in the UK are significantly smaller than they are in America. Uh, it's about a third of the size, I guess. Um, but look at it, mango flavored Coca-Cola. That's actually really good. It's like really good. My toppings was I got a spicy chicken pizza and he got barbecue pizza. No pepperonis, unfortunately, but man, we're eating. We've been eating good tonight. Enter AFK. So, basically, guys, uh, to celebrate the release of the Ninja Turtles, in fact, it's actually been a while since we streamed again, availability and all that, as always. Um, but we're going to be streaming another night of first tens. This week is going to be a celebration of the Ninja Turtles. Now, with this in mind, it's going to be Nyx and Happy Pal. You guys have seen these guys a million times already, but today it's going to be Leonardo for Happy Pal, and it's going to be Raphael for Emperor Nyx. Very, very excited to see what these guys do with these Ninja Turtles. Also, I'm eating pizza tonight. So, uh, I love pizza. How about that? Yeah. Sick. I won't be talking, but I'm currently uh, the mouthful of pizza. Fitting. Now, what we know about the Ninja Turtles is that Raphael is like super, super up close and personal from what we've seen. And then you've got Leonardo, who is very mid-range heavy, really good footsies, really good mids, a decent chunk of chip damage, but Raphael... From what we've heard from the community, this guy hits really, really hard. But that's a wake-up attack right there. But it's going to really do a good job, I think, showing the differences in the turtles. They're almost like Mortal Kombat X variations, in a sense, that they have, like, almost a universal move list to that. They share a lot of attacks, oh. but then, at the same time, they have a lot of attacks unique to them, based on the weapon they have and, obviously, the personality of the turtle they are. Now, Leonardo, that sort of mid-range, he's been... Oh, he got hype. So, obviously, he's got those, like, he's getting three, almost assists, right? He's, like, his trait is those assists, sort of, Ooh. one at a time. Harley-style, separate sort of cooldown bars. And then you've got Raphael, that's almost like a Catwoman style trait that he wants to stack up, he wants to get hype and stack this up, and he lets him unleash like an attack, uh, which is almost like an auto combo, right? Yeah, it's like a Catwoman trait, really. But, but depending on how many levels he has, obviously it extends Ooh. it, but he can meter burn at different times to get himself crazy damage. But whether or not we get to see that, I'm not sure. Unfortunately, you gotta watch out because overuse of said hype at back one range gets you kind of bodied, I think, by Leonardo. And this is back one, I'm pretty sure. It's like his, his decent advancing yeah, I'm going to be avoiding uh, annotations because, to be honest, I don't really know what their strings are. I think it's back one. I'm pretty sure it's back one. I know, back one, two, I know, um, I know back two is kind of like the go-to neutral button for them. I think they've all, I think all their back... Is the back twos are mid? I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> Basically, long story short, they've got, like they've got some really good strings that we throw out in the neutral and we'll try and pick up on what they are as we go. Oh, push box into the corner. Nice. There's the assist, Raphael trying oh, to beat Raphael <laughs> with Raphael. More Ooh, big block. I can see that being an easy punish too. Oh, big damage as well here, getting the back three. And uh, that that down two into back three is already it's kind of a tight link. It's, it's not the easiest thing to do, to be honest with you. Okay, so Ooh. it is back one. Leonardo's back one is his uh, sort of go-to neutral button. In the space of about 30 seconds, we've seen about seven turtles, by the way. I know. I think uh, this might be foreshadowing. I mean, this is uh, exactly what we're going for, right? It's supposed to be celebration all of TMNT, all turtles tonight, all first to ten all turtles. I love that chip damage. And I'm pretty sure that flurry, I think I remember seeing the, the meter burn version of that's minus five, so very, very safe on block, and a decent chunk of chip. Then again, if it's like minus five or so, that does normally mean that it's safe, but you're, you're negative in that you've got to hold something afterwards, right? It's not going to be free chip. You are going to be slightly negative after that situation, but hang on, this is super close, and here come yeah, the turtles. <laughs> Nyx is Raph, right? He's doing <laughs> really finding it hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, Nyx is Raph. Oh, wow, that's good. Block. Oh, the push block, too. That was really smart from Happy Pal. He's got Donatello, and they hit confirm it. The Donatello full combo is super sick. And that's going to be game one for Happy Pal. Good but stuff. that's two things that the, that these two turtles specifically are going to be doing very differently from each other. Obviously, Raphael's go-to launch is going to be from, like, his trait. If he's charged up, he's going to have the universal sort of, you know, shell smash. But then Leonardo is going to be able to go for, what's this? Are you going for the pizza? I can't do it with one hand. It, it didn't really work out. I feel like this looks really good in your mind, and now all of a sudden... I'm like, I, I tried to emulate his win, but my, my pizza is actually significantly worse. It's just it's just spicy chicken with, with a tomato. But no, of course, so um, whereas, uh, you know, Raphael's going for sort of the universal turtle smash and... Uh, yeah, his, his trait. Nice, nice stream management, by the way, Ryan. Very, very smooth. What are you doing? I don't know what you're talking about. This is nope. the wrong one. Super intentional. Go Super back. intentional. 
But obviously Leonardo has that meatless launch with Donatello, the assist. You can almost like confirm into that instead. And uh, cool to see Happy Power ending the game with it, at least for game one. Now the question is, how much hype will Nyx deliver? I mean, I can imagine it's not going to be hard to build hype versus turtles, because one universal thing they have is they don't really have a conventional projectile, so nothing to really stop you from full screen from just stacking up that trait. And unfortunately, drop from Nyx. Yeah, that down, that, that down two into the back three, um, I've already realized it, it's not the easiest thing to do. you got to do it super, super early. There's not really much room for, you know, dropping it. But it gets it again, good stuff. Oh, but no, missed the follow-up. That could have been a dead happy pal. Now, even though this is obviously a turtle celebration, and, oh, I love the fact that Donatello gives him a full wow. combo. That's so sick. What, what was that? Happy Power was... What is Michelangelo just going for a legendary jog in the background? I was like, no, did Michelangelo miss, but he ran straight across the fight. That's, like, really awkward. Like, the dude's just got in front of a camera, like a news agent or a news um, anchor. I respect Nyx going for it back to back. Maybe it's so unsafe he's not going to expect it super quickly, but unfortunately, uh, Happy Power... Swallowing a slice of pizza whole, by the way. Indigestion. Wow. I think you've had enough, sir. More pizza oh, we got for me. That's two stacks. Now, the thing is, I wonder how long it would take you to, to, to realistically stack that, that Raphael trait up to, to get to the point that's actually going to be really dangerous. And how many times are you actually going to get it in the game? I guess you have to wonder. Oh, go for the jump-ins, but yeah, a few whiffs here and there. Bit scrambly, but wow. You managed to get another Bro. stack up. Oh, Michelangelo coming through strong this time. Oh, I did actually, actually you know, didn't know they high five. That's that has to be super flow breaking that while they're high fiving, the other guy is literally on the floor the whole time and he can't move. Oh, that's an overhead, right? I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's a launch. Oh no, he oh, drops it. it! The happy power is looking for the break, perhaps, or the clash. Oh, and he challenges. This could be a dead Leo. He gets hype. Unsafe oh, cannibal ball punish. I <laughs> just called it the cannibal ball, my days. I mean, it literally is. Like, there's, there's no two ways about it. Oh, oh wake up. <laughs> oh, wow. He, he gets his own sigh for good measure. Hey, phony Raph, eat this. We're going to see that win pose so many times tonight. Pepperoni. We should have got, we should have got, ugh. That was a re in my ear hole, right? It's kind of really uncomfortable just hearing a, mm, like, right in my ear holes. But, that's 1-1. One, one. Awesome. In between the breaks, I actually do, unironically, have a slice of pizza. Because I'm actually hungry too. Well, that's almost like that's why we bought it tonight. Yeah. I got fresh tomato on my pizza. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how the Turtles kind of like individual map matchups pan out against each other. Because it's already looking like they are basically four different characters completely. In terms oh, of yeah. what they can do, what kind of archetype they're meant to fit. And also, like, you know... What kind of characters might give them problems seems to be different depending on each turtle. So surely they have like their own individual place on a tier list. Oh, yeah. they're, they're gonna have to be classed as four different characters, surely. Well think about <coughs> Oh my god, that's a really spicy bit, surely. <coughs> Are you alright? <laughs> oh my god, I'm just fine. <laughs> How appropriate. I ugh. <coughs> I bet the Ninja Turtles wouldn't be defeated by a spicy bit of pizza like you. No, uh, You're I'm an not... inferior man compared to the teenage bit. I can't even turtles. concentrate. Anyway. Oh, he tried to get hype on wake up. That must have been an input error. There's no way he did it on purpose. Unless he tried to use the attack, perhaps? He tried to use the trait attack? <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> alright, I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Are you gonna survive? Are you gonna make it? Yeah, I'm just gonna have some of this delicious mango Coca Cola. Mango uh, carbonated beverage, I think you'll find is the more. Sorry, TM. Oh my god. Happy Power already lost quite a lot of health. Big punish. I really like that use from uh, Nyx. Now, that time it looked like he deliberately waited. I think he was trying to bait the uh, air attack out of Happy Power. He's already really been doing that a lot. He's going to get that jump in. End things in the flurry for good damage. Yeah, decent damage. Big wake up Nyx showing no respect at all. I think to be fair, this is Look Nyx. at the range on that whiff punish. Mm. You wouldn't assume it would go that far with how, how stubby the size themselves what are. What is it with Psy normals and Netherrealm games being bloody good? Ooh. Yeah, Happy Power's kind of just getting opened up this time. Oof, full range. Tried to punish, but didn't get it. Looks like that's going to be one of those moves that you have to, like, punish at a specific time. Mm, kind of like trying to punish Batman Slide, right? Even though he's minus, you have to really, you know, you got to catch him on the magical moment. Yeah, Ooh. do the right normal, maybe walk a little bit first. Do they know about the meter burn duck the turtles can do that makes them more advantageous on their Most strings? likely. I, I know Happy Power's been kind of throwing out seemingly random um, ducks at times. I think he's trying to find an opportunity to uh, to set it up. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they both know about it. But early days, right? Oh, here he is again. Pepperoni. 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 I'm too up in the set, but I do like pepperoni. 
Give me uh, one uh, pepperon. Well, you know, you know me. How's it going here, Kuma? How's it going, man? Welcome back. That's really rude. He, he just cuts you up with a sword. Now, oh, right. he was ready to stab in there. Now, what I was going to say before I inhaled a piece of hot chili uh, was, I guess, you know, in Mortal Kombat X, if we classified the Triborg variations as their own, you know, characters, there's no reason you wouldn't do the same thing for the turtles because we can already see. Ooh, oh, oh no, that's unfortunate. I respect the attempt though. I We're mean, already seeing some. Uh, the, the turtles seem to have some really unintentional corpse hop stuff, where yeah. if you whiff a string or drop a combo, you actually go behind them and. Oh no, both of them dropping that. I think that back three in particular has a really weird-looking animation. I mean, Not it's a bit awkward, right? Like it has a little bit of a slower start up. It kind of you know stays in place and then ends Ooh. up like jumping forward. Like I said, both players are aware of when they can combo. So it's, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. As is uh, the way we're comboing into back threes. I'm assuming Happy oh. Power tried to do something off that low, but doesn't really matter too much. He's going to be able to take that first round against Nyx, looking really good. And I, I'm Whoa, never. He's gonna, holding him back. <laughs> I'm not going to get. Raph's like, I'm going to fuck him up, and he goes, No, I want to gut this. I want to wreck this guy. I want to wreck this guy who's pretending to be me, but he's wearing like toilet roll for clothes. That's definitely not toilet roll. It's probably a bandage. He's probably found it in the sewer. I'm assuming Happy Power tried to convert off that, but oh. No, me unfortunately, because Nix has spent a bunch of his bar on the wake-ups and stuff like that, he actually has nothing, and Happy Power's going to more than me about that. Now, he forced to take the mix-up, so I actually respect the block there, but he gets opened up, and there we go. But he's got a ton of meter on his side. Yeah, he's looking all right, and we are Leonardo with meter. It's plenty of chip damage, potentially. I want a big whiff, though. Nix is whiff-punishing. That's been Ooh, so good. That is so deep of a cross-up. He's going to get the back three as well. Can he finish it? He can. Knock there down. There we go. And it looks like it's one of those, uh, you're, you're purposely going for a hard knockdown or that kind of splat, right? That if you drop that endo, it's going to really suck for you. And We're having, punished. We've a little bit of problems with it so far, but now he's managed to tighten it up a little bit. That high five just makes that so much better. Happy Pal's catching some whiff punishes, but he's not. Oh, <laughs> here comes Raph. Happy Pal is just the eternal BM of Happy Pal's team, I think. The weird thing is that even though the size definitely have what looks like less range than the swords in terms of like, you know, the, the models themselves, kind of looks like Raph's back one can almost compete very comfortably with Leonardo's back one. Now that's really good. Those long reaching normals, as far as I'm aware though, oh, as far as I'm aware, the no. turtles back three is plus, so you should be able to get some of those normals in way. Oh wow! Actually surprised both sides didn't connect there. Look like they might have done. Oh, oh, there we go. That long range again. Deceptive. I mean, again, I'm not used to seeing Raphael kind of having such a long range button considering he arguably has the shortest weapon of all yeah. the turtles. Yeah, you would assume he has by far the shortest range because the size aren't very big. I mean, TMNT or Nez, if that taught us anything, is that Raphael's range has never been as strong as Dude, Raphael was terrible. He was Nez. ass. He was ass. He was ass of the worst kind. Michelangelo and Raph were collectively really ass. Really but they were ass in an ass game, to be fair. Hey, that game was great. Well, oh, that, that was a lie. It wasn't good. That is a lie. When if I was you were in our stream chat, I would ban you for that. When I was a timeout, when I was a kid, I loved it. I loved it. By the way, I want to input on the stream, mushrooms on a pizza is great. It is. If, if you say no mushrooms, then maybe it's uh, time you stop watching uh, twitch.tv forward slash peanut ketchup. Oh, he's going to get the jump in. Good damage. There and we go. You know, Raph, he's hitting good damage. Even though, there's yeah. a down, even though there's a down two in that combo, he's hitting 400 damage. What is up with that? But that's also, I think it's because, um, I mean, I couldn't even tell you, right? It does so much damage before. It's like the Shouts match itself does a lot of damage. What game are we talking about? It was Ninja Turtles on the NES. The one where you had four turtles and they had their own health bars, but it was really wow. hard. And there was a dam level where you had to disarm bombs underwater and you died instantly. It was, uh, hmm. It was quite fun as a kid. And by fun, I mean literally soul crushing. Oh, good. No whiff punish on the get hype. Actually, to be honest, that kind of goes against what I was saying earlier on. I was like, surely it doesn't seem like Raph is going to... Oh, that was actually really nice capitalizing. Almost, but missed the combo. There are a few weird confirms. Like, you, you can definitely see what he's going for here. Like, he's getting these animations and they're, they're high up enough that you can get either a down one or something else before they land. But this is the kind of stuff that these confirms will become really comfortable for Happy Pal later down the yeah, line, you know, when you have a little bit more um, comfort with the character. But just quickly, like I was saying before, I, I kind of assumed that the turtles wouldn't be great at stopping Raph from getting hyped. But I, if the kind of if the if the turtle ball is really Ooh. is fast enough, surely it can punish it on reaction. I think uh, nice something there. something just appeared in chat. But oh no, I missed it. Did someone host us? Something appeared on stream alerts and I missed it. So if someone hosted, thank you very much. I'm really sorry that I didn't see it pop up in my chat, unfortunately. Um, have we seen the Angry Video Game Nerds episode on the Ninja Turtles? Like, we oh. adore the AVGN, dude. That it's was like what we're like. Oh. That was that was the golden age of YouTube, was the AVGN. Oh, yeah. Stuff like TMNT reviews. Oh, yeah. That was the good stuff. By the way, Nick. Oh, oh, the Turtle Ball. 
I want to play the Turtles, and I want to do that. It's, it's, like, it's like the Kano in me from MKX. It's yeah. like, I want to just do balls at random. Someone needs to get Yupei to play this game just so he could have the Kano ball back. But which, which Turtle would Yupei play? Oh, I think Yupei... Who's got the knives? Raph. Yeah, probably Raph. He'd play Raph. Yeah. I, think, I think Yupei would play Raph. He'd have to, right? That makes sense. He'd play the most angry and aggressive Turtle, by far. Even though Yupei is not an angry and aggressive guy, he just loves Kano. The two knives, man. Hashtag two knives. Two knives. Oh my god. I'm not even going to repeat that story. Now, one thing that I know is, um, I know some of the turtles are big on restands. I know that Raph apparently has, you know, quite a reliable one, but I've seen people seem quite divided. Some people seem to be ending every combo in it, and some people would much rather take the hard mark down. Oh, I see. We had a host from Honeybee. Thank you very much, Honeybee. Cheers, man. Oh, I amazing. really appreciate it. Thanks that. very much, dude. It didn't appear on my chat for some reason. I heard the sound, but I didn't see who hosted, so I missed it, unfortunately. But thank you very much. 2-3, though. Happy Power Nick's going well. Yeah, this is about as close as we're hoping it would be. Let's go! Oh, got hype, but a little bit too yeah, hype. He got a little bit too hype for his own good. Actually, he tried to go for a second one. Sometimes yeah. we get greedy with the hype. Well, Happy Power was able to. Oh, oh, there we go. That's what's, what. That's what he's doing. They're trying to make the most of the bug in the game right now. That if you use the turtle hide, like the meter burn version, um, as far as I'm aware, it basically changes the frame data of the normal one and kind of makes it better for the rest of the game. It's, it's a bug right now. Probably going to get changed, but both players probably going to be using that a little bit. I know Happy Power's definitely. I mean, if it lets him cancel stuff, there's Happy Power's 100% going to use it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If it gives him dash cancels, Happy Power will do it. Whoa. You know, that is, some, that is some really comfortable cash out damage, and he's going to cash out, oh, speaking wow. of which, on that trait. And he runs in. Oh, Happy Power tries to uh, convert off that. I think if Happy Power was a little bit more confident, he would have got a full combo off that. Like, he went for the jab, but look, he was almost like testing the waters, like seeing is this possible. Didn't really confer, uh, commit to it, but that could be really useful. Ketchup oh, the and, range! Ketchup and mustard, where is barbecue? I don't know I don't know who in the community would be PND barbecue sauce. Who is, who is sweet and a little bit spicy? Barbecue sauce is not spicy. I'm Are you a bitch? No, no, oh no, I don't mean- You're a whole bitch. No, come on, man. I'm, I'm way better with hot food than you are. I just choked on a chili earlier. Oh, just... there's a big whiff! Oh! I mean, I can't really blame Nyx for going for that, you know what I mean? Like, uh, uh, to be honest, when you're that low on health, that was gonna launch if you went for it, then you may as well just, you know, throw out a little bit of a gamble here and there. Oh, there we go. I can imagine that is amazing for getting out of the corner. Like, if someone jumps in your corner, you just, like, whiff a, a turtle ball and just go full screen. It's probably that must be so dirty. I'm assuming it's oh, one of big those launch things. using the trait. Donatello coming through strong. Drop the combo again. That's unfortunate. Oh, we've punished the hype, though. Hasn't got Donatello, so we can't confirm into a full combo. Oh! Wow. What nice. What else you got, dude? I've got some turtle power left. I've got some turtle power left, he says to Rap. They're both two. They're both turtles. I'm not sure if they've noticed. Noise. I can't. Now you pointed out, I can't stop seeing kind of like Lou Roll or bandages where Raphael is definitely supposed to be like tied up. Looks cool though. Or another oh. whiff. Actually, actually, looks like Nyx has has been spacing that really well so far. But especially in this game and the last one, he's ah. having a little bit of trouble with it. Now because he went for that, uh, because he went Ooh. for the meter burn parry at the very beginning, actually tried to cancel that string into the regular parry. Oh, and he just commits into Donatello. Has to watch out. Clashes it. Nyx has no clash. That's down one. Full whiff string. Tries oh. to whiff punish. It's like Happy Power's got the right idea, uh -oh. he's just he's not pressing the right button. He's hype! <gasps> oh, big whiff. That was a bit, I think that was a bit of a anticipation on Happy Power. He's got the range they have to respect. Oh! <laughs> the speed! <laughs> Stabbed him. Empty jump into stab. Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Four. And then two. I like it though. There's a couple of things that we are noticing with Leo right now though as well, is that because his meterless conversions will come from Donatello, where you do what looks like back one two into Donatello for the launch and then obviously the rest of it. Look at their facial animations! I know. I thought, dude, the facial animations on the turtles are so insanely good. Um, but if there is no Donatello ready, then of course his ability to get that meterless damage seems to get drastically quite cut. At least, you know, that, that kind of really easily obtainable damage, anyway. Oh, big bait on the wake up, but no full punish. He had the bar, surely he could have done something with it. Oh, and there's the cancel. Cancels the pop-up just to get a little bit more damage, I like it. Oh, wake up, Ooh, parry. Nice. 
decent damage for it is too. But that's a really strong thing that Leonardo has going for him though. Is if he calls the uh, like an assist turtle and he gets hit, I don't think the turtle that he's called disappears. I think they still come out and do the attack. So it's almost like a momentum breaker by itself. But again, that's that the kind of weird sort of corpse swap mechanic. And obviously, for those that don't know, the term corpse swap normally means as the opponent is standing up, you can do things that go over their body or hop over their corpse, as it were, and you can go for some weird repositioning stuff. Normally, it doesn't really do a whole lot, and not a lot of characters have those kind of mechanics. And I really like that meaty back forward too. Really, really good to just make sure if he stands up, he's going to walk up into all of it. Good damage too. See ya. I wonder if Leonardo's going to develop to the point that you're literally just going to end everything on block into the flurry. Probably. Just for the chip damage. Almost like, you know, Trident Rush, uh, yeah, Red Hood uh, Lunge. Yeah, Red Hood Lunge, like the Lethal Lunge, Ooh, the Trident really Rush, nice. the, uh, mana, uh, the Mana Race Strike as well, or the Mana Blast, whatever it's called. Still though, I mean, one thing I'm noticing regularly is a lot of damage coming out of Emperor Nyx. Like when Raph seems to get the right open, there's so much damage. That really looked like a jump three. Pressing buttons. I love how actually um, Happy Power was like staggering those back ones. Ooh, I get it so tricky. It's like that consistently crosses up when you go for the poke at max range. And again, Nyx is just getting so much mileage out of it. But unfortunately, that was his last bar. And Happy Power tries to go for the punish, but I don't think he expected it to work. Manages to squeeze out me and back three. Oh, but drops a combo again. Yeah, there are quite a few drops here. But oh, oh no. no, no, no. Oh, the wake up, Harry. He's just stabbing the absolute crap out of him, isn't he? Bro. Bro. So Happy Power still has got the meter advantage, but this is the kind of health where if you get hit by one meter burn back three, it's unclashable. Oh, didn't go wow. for clash either. I mean, didn't have enough bar to win the clash, so kind of not really much point there. Oh, plus the respect. Oh, that, did that still cross up? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Is that enough? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Happy Power had a huge lead. Kind of just threw it away. I would assume, I mean, maybe he deliberately went for like a couple of jabs because he didn't want him to clash. But, but he had no bar. Yeah, uh, yeah, the flurry is minus 23. Yeah, for sure. Regular flurry by itself is really unsafe. I'm just mentioning it because Happy Pal had super high amounts of meter. Yeah, of course. But moves like that tend to build a lot of bar inherently by themselves, right? So it usually kind of evens out. Looking like right now, Raphael's the real leader. I mean, it's looking that way. Happy Pal. But the thing is, Happy Pal's got the right idea. It's just, it feels like... As is the way when you play new characters, stuff like confirms and knowing what buttons to confirm into when you catch sort of wayward juggles or what buttons to punish with and stuff like that. It looks like that's not 100% there yet, but obviously that's a work in progress. But that's really letting him down so far. Nyx is doing a lot of unsafe stuff, a lot of wake-ups, um, a lot of stuff that it seems like Happy Power should be able to punish. And he's going for it. He's just either out of range or using the Oh combo. my god, these... Dude, and the thing is, you can't just block that, that shell thing because that shell is an overhead. You can't just hold down and block it that way. You need to be ready for the sub. You need to be ready for the fact that it's going to go behind you. And because it's overhead, you've got to block the other way. If you're holding down, you're going to get hit no matter what direction it's coming from. Oh, very Ooh. nice combo coming out of Happy Pal. 300 damage and a good bait on the wake up again. Nyx getting a little bit obvious. Tries to go for the throw, but way too early. Big whiff punish attempt, but didn't get it. Raphael's size looks super, super plus on here. If he delayed the grab by that much and it was still too early. Oh, even the chip damage on oh. Raph's size when he goes for the assist. Clean jump over Michelangelo's skateboard. See you later. Oh, I actually just held down the back three as long as oh. possible. Oh, the anti air Raph mirror. Nice. Either put the pizza slice hole again. Indigestion. Oh, oh and he just got launched. That pizza slice is definitely not finished moving around yet either. Leonardo currently regretting his, uh, his, his lunch choice. Ugh. Right. Leonardo, uh, Donatello, I should say, when it comes to like life bar gone sort of cinematics, Donatello's is probably the worst. He kind of just comes up and goes, I'm still here, guys, and then leaves <laughs> again. Hey, guys, I still exist! I'm Donatello! I'm the purple one. Oh, we got hype. Oh, but a little bit too close. Sorry, man, too much hype. Here's the pressure. Chip Ten damage. Meet a burn. Look at that chip, man. He's got three bars as well. He could just keep Ooh, going. But he just ate that Ooh. one. Full combo. Yeah, back three. Very nice. There's the hard knockdown again. The cross up set up the block. Ooh, that is really meaty. Speaking of meter build though, Raph seems to know a thing or two about that himself. Unclashable damage. Oh, the shimmy! Ooh. Wait a minute! I that didn't combo. Know. I Happy don't pal. know what happened there. I don't know what happened there, but Nyx is going to take it. <laughs> Nyx, the legendary traitless turtle. I mean, he hasn't needed it so far. I guess you've, he's only got hype, right? <laughs> I mean, there's only so much you can do when getting hype is your superpower. Still though, I mean, it looks like um, a lot of what Nyx is doing right now is, is 
It's a very grounded game. You know, it's it's very momentum heavy. Whenever he gets knocked down, he seems to be waking up a lot because that's kind of like the ultimate momentum shift. He's really playing for that long range game, really competing with happy powers. He's trying to stick out those sword normals, and he's winning. You know, he's, he's he's spacing just a little bit better at the moment. I want to say, guys, we're sitting at about 300 viewers tonight. Hopefully, you are all enjoying the stream. It's really nice to be back and. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for all tuning in. Just thought I'd say cheers. Uh, oh, wake up, parry. That parry looks really good. And it puts him in really good range for what I'm assuming that's the back one. Or at least the mid that Raphael has. After the parry connects, he's in good range for that. It's good I stuff. Think really struggling with the, uh, the cross-up shell drop, oh. it seems. Michelangelo is still just running along just for the good measure. Like, mate, we're doing a fight here. Can you, like, not do that? Can you move? You know what I really like about that setup is um, with Raph. Yep, tries to anti yeah, I understand that trying to anti air it again. He's not got- No, he has got Donatello, he just opts to not use it. So I wonder if there are some situations, I wonder why Happy Power opts to not go for the Donatello. When he knows it's going to guarantee punish, but I mean, he opts not to use it. surely Leonardo should be able to hit confirm into the shell drop the same way that Nyx is. <laughs> so he should have multiple options to launch. He should be able to go for Donatello off of certain things, going for the shell smash. But he seems to be kind oh of favouring the flurry in the so, majority of situations. That is so hard. That looks so tricky to block. Yeah, it's going to take a little while to, to really get used to it, I think. Oh, he just got donked. Nice. Wow, immediate. Raphael, I think, you know they mentioned that his, his trait also acts like a wake-up attack when it's ready? Mm -hmm. What's going to make Raphael dangerous is that he's got the shell wake up, he's got wake up parry, he's got wake up trait. Like, Raphael hits like a truck when he lands damage, but you have to really respect him on wake up, I think. Unless, unless like, some characters have like universal ways of maybe, you know, blowing through them all. I'm not quite sure, like, do they all have the same kind of invincibility? Can any of them be Ooh. stuffed? I guess we'll find out over the coming weeks, because that's a good thing about the Turtles. They're so interesting and they're so diverse. It, there seems to be a lot of people playing all of the Turtles. You know, they they always, all, already seem to have quite a lot of representation. So it should mean over the next few oh. weeks we should see a lot of cool tech develop. Hopefully Pao is finding himself in a situation where he's adding these really weird confirms from dodgy mages in the air. When you block Raph standing, I believe that is kind of plus on account of it being oh, projectiles. So cool. Nice confirm from Happy Pal. Happy Pal was looking pretty poor in this game and managing to bring it back. Long range, and there we go, giving Nexa takes his own medicine but drops the combo immediately. That is unfortunate. Oh, oh my Happy God. Power failing to block it again. But I mean, like, realistically, I'm like, how do you block that? Because he's got so many strings that can finish that so you have to be super on it and ready for the flip. Oh, there we go. Keeping it safe oh! and pressing a button again. Happy Power just looked like he just completely forgot the meter burn version of the dive kick was possible. Nice. It is a crazy one, actually. I'm actually really impressed with what Happy Power is showing. It looks like a big one is... Leaving damage on the table because he's dropping his confirms. But again, it's like the turtles are brand new. And Happy Power, he's trying to go for these little conversions in situations where he's hitting some weird angles. Well, the thing is, like, this is something that we say all the time. Whenever we have a first to ten and it's a new character, usually the person playing the new character will struggle or they'll you know, drop a lot of combos. And we say all the time, right? It takes time to learn. But we say it every time because it never stops being relevant. Oh, yeah. When you're learning a new character, there's going to be a certain <coughs> level of unfamiliarity. And the only way to really get that muscle memory is to play. You know, in situations like this, extended sets, you have a long time to kind of neaten it up. And hopefully we can see a little bit of that as we come through. I feel like trying to build the hype against a character without a projectile standalone, it's actually beneficial for Nyx in that because that, that Psy mid right there has so much range and he gets so much damage off it. I feel like the threat of that being super fast and looks like it's confirmable too. Wait a minute, it, did it, he just whiff the um, the dive kick and recover very, qu very quickly it seems? I think so, maybe. Oh, confirm? No, no Donatello. He's already input the string. Oh, tries to go for meaty Donatello, but did they wake up? Managed to get oh. through. Down one, just actually went straight over it with the back Ooh. three. Use the Michelangelo as, as like, like a defensive move right there. No more Dragon Ball we don't like? Question mark? No, no, we, we love the game. It's just turtle night, innit? Oh, hang around. on a minute. First time we see, Good or God. one of the first times we've seen Nyx go for the trait meter burn launch version and 400 damage easily. Oh, that my days. That is a chunk of damage. Oh, yeah. That hurts so good. And he's still got trait, I think. I imagine that is that Raph's um, unique jump too? I know they've all got different jump twos. Oh, Whoa. wow. That's such an amazing whip punish tool. Speaking of whip punish, oh, that's why he doesn't confirm because it's not a combo. That oh, makes sense. I see. That makes sense. Dude, that would be kind of insane if he could confirm off I mean, that. He can, he can smoke, uh, shell smash, so he can definitely can still get Ooh, something. Oh, nice. nice damage. 320 for a one bar confirm. Did the pizza just fly out of the sky? I think so. Did it just drop on him like a bird? Was that, was that Alfred just dropping it from the top of the Batcave? <laughs> Maybe Batman threw it away and it just came down the garbage <laughs> disposal. Yeah. 
Oh, oh no, God. pineapple. Ooh. Oh yeah, I know. If we eat pineapple on your pizza, man, you're a heathen. Hang oh. on a minute. Donatello with the big launch. Bro. Not too much damage, but meterless. Oh, he just oh. slapped him. All over the parry, but there we go. Shell smash pizza. Ooh, Raphael with a combo. I can imagine Leonardo being a sweaty All right, Nyx is going. Nyx is going a little bit too, uh, I guess, like, you know, will I do it or will I not kind of scenario on those wake-ups. Now, does he spend by to stop the health region? Doesn't spend anything. Happy pal. He's banking it. <laughs> has to respect. He has to respect it. Ooh, that oh, that nice. nice. Now, happy pal. He dropped this. Oh, no, he got it. He's got the turtles. He does have all three now. Oh, combo! He tried the down one. I respect the attempt. Big whip punish. Oh, but went into the flurry, so that's not going to do enough. Wake up. Wake, wake up, up grab! Dude, Nick's doing wake up grab is one of the scariest reads of all time because he always wake up. Oh, oh Mr. The Judges. patience. Happy pal with the sick comeback. That was actually incredible. And it was patience. It was baiting the wake ups till the bitter end. It was Nick's calling out, you know, I actually love that sequence. Nick's going for wake up grab because he's expecting happy power that to was block. One of because the he's most. expecting the wake up attack. So he does wake up grab, and then the next time he gets knocked down, he actually does the wake up attack. Can that was one of those next level, next level <laughs> reads. Considering this is Nick's we're talking about, that was a hyper intelligent wake up grab for sure. You know, you are not ready for a wake up grab from someone like Nick's, but happy power, normally patience and happy power don't go in the same sentence. That was sick. That's one hell of a diss. No, it ain't. I'm saying he plays Normally he's not patient at all, but then he was. Not you know, not being funny though. Yeah, why be patient when you have swag? That's all I'm saying. I mean, 100%. If I had to choose between a patient happy pal or an impatient swaggy happy pal, I would choose the swaggy version all day every day. And that's yeah, that's what you were talking about, where even if Leo takes damage, the turtle that he's called will stay in the fight. So down two into Donatello might in some ways be like a weird bait. Guys, I wonder if you and chat might be able to know. Um, is normal is normal shell drop uh, punishable? Like, what, what, what's the, what are the frames on block shell drop? Like, just normally by itself. I think it's unsafe. Because if it's unsafe, that's a huge thing. Because Happy <coughs> Power, because it's got to the point that Nyx is almost throwing it on the end of every single button he's pressing. Because Happy Power is having a, a lot of trouble consistently blocking it. But if it's punishable, then surely all he's got to do is just, you know, block it and then start getting a full combo for it. I love the fact that Nyx was using that interactable just to guarantee himself a little bit of no, height. he's really smart. And he's now got three of them. Oh, there's the drop. And it just it dropped from the sky in Brainiac ship. Wow. Where is it coming from? I mean the ship, clearly. Brainiac doesn't look like a pizza guy, if I'm being honest. What is going on? There was four turtles on screen at the same time. I mean there's four of the ninja turtles, didn't you know? Minus twenty seven. Okay, so it's a bit punishable. <laughs> a little bit unsafe. Speaking of which. Oh, overhead. Nice confirm. Meet this version. Oh, that's the down one. I like that. Normally Brainiac ship uh -oh. is one of the harder ones to combo from. Whoop. Raphael! It's piercing. The assist. Yeah, we know Honeybee's hosting. We did give him a thanks. It didn't appear on our stream for some reason, but we do appreciate the host massively for sure. Uh-oh. Oh, big punish. Nyx is getting a little bit too obvious with those now. Using a bar. Yeah, he's triggered the glitch. Now, I wonder how much that actually changes. Ooh, we oh, that was a wonderful attempt from Mappy Pal, but just didn't look like he was spaced right for it. Yeah, I wonder what kind of range you have to be. Maybe you have to be a little bit more max range to get the, um, the size to connect. Oh, we used it. Did he just use a bar to go hype? Build up a little bit. Oh no, he did combo it. Nice confirm. Oh, good stuff. Wow! Oh, he didn't have enough stats. Now, you gotta watch out, because Happy Pal's got super. Happy Pal has got super. Nyx. <laughs> That's a good point. Nyx, remember who you're fighting. Now, they all have different No! Oh! Oh, happy Pal's not happy. Happy Pal, when Happy Pal is low on health and he has super, you know he wants it. Like, I've never seen a player use so many supers in my life, and, ha and then Happy Pal in Injustice 2. Pepperoni. Pepperoni, man. Pepperoni. This is like intergalactic pepperoni. Man, what was interplanetary pepperoni? And we skipped the way. We didn't even get to see him enjoy it. <laughs> oh, don't. <laughs> Why did my voice break? <laughs> that was my hell of a voice crack. That's the worst voice yeah. crack ever. No. <laughs> didn't even get to eat the pepperoni. No. No. But, uh, <laughs> no. It's like you were so sad at the thought of him not being able to enjoy his It made me very it. upset. Don't eat pizza into the mic, you Neanderthal. I'm not. Unhappy pal, I know, right? Sad pal. Angry pal. Angry now. And Michelangelo still, he missed completely and then ran the full length of the stage. In front of them, no less. Like, he got as in the way as physically possible. Nice back three, though, from Nick's this time. Ooh. I like the use of the restand string into the shell drop, just to make sure the positioning is the same. Getting one stack of hype. Can't imagine he gets to do too much with one, but I, I, I suppose at least it unlocks the attack.
And he's managing to get the uh, hit. Oh, I like that. Two turtles coming through. Big combo. He is getting... Oh, oh that was I'm a him. standing cross-up. That's an Injustice special. That is... that. Oh, that combo is so sick. Oh, speaking of which, though, Nyx was not meant to be outdone, but managed to get his own. Big punish there. Oh, but doesn't catch him on time. I love the block on the other side. Good. Good stuff. I love that little tune that plays when Mikey comes out. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Oh, wow. That one's trading. Yeah, he thread the needle with that jump. Oh, that big dive kick. And Donatello with the extension. And another pizza. My favourite turtle is Raphael. And Mustard's is Michelangelo. And Arutex. Good blocks on the strings. Air to air. Oh, what's he got? No damage, unfortunately. 73. Mega damage. Oh, big whip polish, Donatello for the meatless launch. That's a really nice combo. Especially considering Donatello doesn't actually start recharging until the combo's over either. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. <laughs> so many shell drops. Oh, wait. Well, hang on a minute. That was an interesting experience. He's on the motorbike. He's on the motorbike. That is cannon. <laughs> I mean, if, if one of the four would have, like, have a motorbike, it would be Raph. Let's not, let's not pretend any other way. He gets the jump in. Oh. oh, he's going swimming. He's going back to his element. Hang on, no, wrong stage. Never mind. This is definitely not his element. This is not his element at all. Oh, my God. If that was his element, he would look so uncomfortable. Turtles are famous for their ability to fly in the air. Well, look, he's got a shell. So at least he had his back. Oh, that's such a good air. Now, there's a reason, obviously, he didn't want him to clash, so no combo there. Jump in one. Yeah, this is super hard for Nyx. Oh, we tried to go for the chip damage. Mike, oh! into the meter burn back three. Happy pal. Looking a bit more comfortable now, even though he was massively down in games. 8-4. Not bad. Nice. Now, Leonardo manages to now. enjoy a nice, finely baked pepperoni pizza. That, that'll hit the spot. Oh. I was really bad. Stop. Also <laughs> unexpected. So I'm so sorry. Doing I'm these so disgusting sorry. Things. I mean, I shouldn't be eating pizza while we stream. <laughs> you should not. Because I'm drinking. I'm drinking a carbonated beverage. I'm eating yeah. chicken pizza. Oh, I'm the one. St I'm the next year. I've got to deal with it. Sorry. Pepperoni. Excellent. Well, I was getting hungry, but now I'm not. That was my goal, man. I don't want everyone to eat pizza like me. We're so unhealthy today. Oh, good block. Oh, It looks like the turtles generally are going to be quite hard to approach, though. You know, the, the threat of dive kick, the threat of the ball. Good normals. I can see them being quite strong, honestly. They, they seem to tick a lot of boxes. Yeah, I know you can, you can cancel that as well, I believe. It's super tight, but you can get it. Oh, meets him in the air. I think he's getting caught backdashing after that. I do wonder what the frames are. And another meet back three. Both players getting so much mileage out of that. Into the shell drop. Good damage. 330 damage off just that. Oh, wow. A raw back three. I'm assuming Nick might have thought he had like the little bit of bar that he needed. Oh. Uh, I will be honest. That, that, that's actually something that I'd like to see Happy Power start doing more. Is um, <laughs> opting to end his combos in a better fashion. Because right now he's kind of hit confirming everything into the flurry. And it doesn't look like you really get anything. Off of, off of the knockdown of the flurry. Whereas if you go for something you new, know, whatever that string was he just did, they got him a hard knockdown. At least he was in range to do something. You know, that's a bit more traditional injustice right there. Again, we get to see all the turtles in action. He has to watch out for the steep. Watch out for the hype. Oh, the hype was just a bait all along. Oh, Raph dances with him. That's sick. I love this game, man. Like, you can tell Netherrealm have put so much time and care into. Oh, <laughs> it's almost like they fair. care about the characters they put in the game. Who'd have thunk? Here's the grab. Keep him in the corner. Now, I've noticed one thing about that, that corner cross-up oh, with the shell. The corner cross-up with the shell drop. That said, if they, even though it's hard and it's a last-minute cross-up, if they block it, you are in the corner. Oh, I like that. Oh, no. Man, just to jump straight over Mikey. the left side. Oh, Donatello misses completely. Mikey, Donatello comes in. Hang this on. This is literally a brawl. This is all turtles just having a, a fisticuffs fight. Now, happy pal. Michelangelo. Donatello, come in. Donatello! I didn't mean that from that side! Oh, That was... I mean, I don't even know. That was acrobatic. I don't even know what happened there. But Happy Power did win. That'll hit the spot! That's five games to... Was it eight now? That was... There were so many turtles. This has been a really cool set. Honestly, so I'm many... Really this. So many turtles. So many of the turtles. Pepperoni... Ah, oh, I just saw your lovely props on Twitter, Tom Heggy. Thank you very much, man. Much appreciated. I know he's in the chat because I saw him earlier. 
I'm being interested. Oh, catches the back dash. Didn't get too much damage, but a little bit. Which turtle do we think is the best and which one do we think is the worst? It's, it's, it's pretty much impossible to say right now because they're so new. But people's, the community generally kind of speculates that maybe Michelangelo might be the weakest and Leo might be the strongest. But we, as we can see here, right, Raphael hits like a truck. I mean, are we going to see all four turtles tonight? Do we have people lined up? Um, yeah, um, we have uh, Hey George, who plays Michelangelo. And uh, we have Hey George, who plays Michelangelo. There's Buffalo on. Does he play Buffalo, Buffalo plays Michelangelo and he's ready to play too. Um, we also have, uh, I believe, B Dog, who plays Donatello. Sweet. So we're going to have B Dog on as well. I think it's going to be, uh, we could have Hey George versus Crazy Fingers, the rematch, but the turtle edition. <laughs> and then we could potentially do um, Buffalo versus B Dog if you guys are down for that. That'd be some good matches. Well, that sounds good to me. Oh, big punish. But no, actually, he didn't get any damage at all. You know, he was definitely had the opportunity to. Was MKXL on PC unplayable for a while? I know the, the launch of MKX was a bit of a rough one, but when MKXL came on PC, it was actually very, very well optimized. MKXL onwards was basically perfect. It was vanilla MKX that had a lot of problems, unfortunately. Yeah, it was really good. But it was when Qlock, it was when Qlock were doing the uh, the port, it was just so much tidier. Happy Power, by the way, has like turned the Ooh, switch and he gets the that cancel. That was so nice. Oh, oh, what a read. Sick, 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 sick. Yeah, Happy Power can't be stopped in this game. He's going to lose the life bar, but I don't know if he can be stopped. He's definitely feeling himself a bit much here. <laughs> don't tell him. He's coming out. Give him the thumbs up. Go, my friend. You got this. I don't know if that anti air is super reliable. Oh, the stag. He's just stabbing him. Good thing he's wearing those elbow pads. Oh, hang on a minute. The drop. Nyx might make this comeback. I mean, know. he could do. Oh, big hit. No, oh! he went straight for the super. Oh, blocked. Safe, it seems, but no bar. Happy Power might you know, have just thrown the game away. You know that. you know what sucks is the one time you, you do it, the other guy baits it. But he Ooh. presses buttons a million. Oh, hang on a minute. Donatello and Raph, which one? The Flabby. That was so smart. We were all expecting another turtle. We were all expecting another turtle. And because of that, Happy Power goes, jump into these swords, mate. Is that one of the best block strings in the game? Is uh, Go-Kart into Michelangelo on his skateboard? Oh, I would say so. I mean, that is one of the best. It has to be. Yes. Superman. Well, Leonardo here comes Robert the happy pal. Leonardo's going, wait a minute, mate. I am the leader today. Fighters Your voice has gone weird. Yeah, I just, I've sorted it now. I don't know what happened. It's the bit, all that pizza. It's too much weird things. Too much spicy pizza and mango fizzy beverage TM. Begin. Right. Here we go. We're getting a real match on our hands. I right, got one stack of hype, but... I mean, the important thing is just at least having one stack means that at least you've got access to the move, right? Even if it's not the best version, just having access to it is huge. Now, this is, yeah, a bit of a weird one. Being so close to the corner, of course, the back three, and ooh, push blocking actually keeping him in the corner. I wonder if he's push blocking by accident, though, because if you're blocking it and you're blocking it correctly, you'd want to punish it, right? Yeah. it's hella minus. This string is just, oh, wake up, neutral jump. Good reads, but he has no bar to meet about, unfortunately. Trades for days. Oh, big whiff punish for that back three. Oh, hang on a minute. Was that some oh, corner oh, 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 oh. That was definitely corner That music. was nice. No flurry, though. Doesn't go for the sword flurry. I think he probably could have killed if he went for that and meter burned it. Nice combo from Nyx. Oh, expected oh. a quick wake up. Whiff punish the grab with a grab. Why not? Okay. How's it going, Valorax? Welcome, man. How's it going, dude? With punish. He's gonna get the flurry. Even if he blocks the flurry, he's still gonna have to take massive chip damage. Oh, instant dive kick. Yeah, instant air dive kick. I feel like Happy Pal's looking really comfortable right now. Oh, the cross up again. But Happy Pal opts to spend both bars to get out of that one and dies immediately. Unfortunately, throwing quite a lot of bar away in the process. I you think. know, for, my memory is the worst thing ever, but I actually think it's quite sick to see these guys play again. I mean, we saw these guys go head to head at E League, and that was one of the best sets of E League as an entire tournament. Oh, that was a nice combo, but dropped the end. Look, that was actually punished one hit. Even got the punish notifier at the side. Yep. Ouch. Can't be dropping that. Yep. Yeah, that's a good point. I can't imagine these guys have the opportunity to wow. play too much from E League to now. And it was an amazing series they had there. Yeah, I think Happy Pal, he's not going to want to. If he clashes, so be it. No clash? I mean, oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's okay. Given up. I'm assuming he's gone. Okay. That was either maybe his pad died? I hope not. Either his pad died or he just went, all right, next match. Maybe he had to sneeze. Maybe he dropped his pad. Maybe he's gone to eat some pizza. He might have gone to eat some delicious pizza. Some uh, toasty pizza. Caution. 
Well, we'll give it a sec. If he doesn't oh, move in why? quite a select, I'm assuming... I wonder how long that, that stringy... Uh, the, the stringy cheese on that pizza goes. If you've, like, AFK'd and left it, do you come back and, and the string is, like, a metre long and his arm is, like, all the way stretched out and the pizza is still there and he's not smiling anymore because <coughs> at that point it's inconvenient so he's, like, concerned. So he's like, what do I do here? Like, do I do I snap it off? Do I, like, pull it away? Do I risk the toppings Man, sliding if, off? If you let if you let cheese when it strings away go stringy for too long, it goes really cold and horrible. I know. It's like you've got to be really quick on your feet to decide what do I do with it. Oh, one of the first throws of the series, which is odd, considering who's playing. Oh, big whip punish again. Both players doing that so many times. Oh! I wonder if they're blocking the other way for the shell bash for the online delay. It doesn't register. Oh, that was so I nice. wouldn't really say it's online, to be honest with you. I think it's more the fact that because the shell bash isn't overhead, and it can, like you see there, it can hit in front. But the way these guys are setting up, it's going behind the, the opponent. The shell bash isn't overhead. So you can't crouch both ways by holding down, obviously, which means that you kind of it can be really weird to tell which side it's going to land. I mean, you have to be confident. You have to know what side it's going to land on and blocking standing in that direction. It's as simple as that. And yeah. unfortunately, Happy Hour was just not really able to do so, it seems. He's really struggling with it. Still, though, hasn't stopped him from making this crazy comeback so far. And it was like, what was it, 8-3 at the start when it was eight games? Yeah. And it was like 8-4, seven, seven. I think it was 7-3 and then 8-4, I believe. Oh, he's hype. I think he'll take he'll take that trade for some hype. Gives him access to a new wake up attack for sure. Happy Power's just gonna cash out the damage. Armor breaks as well with the back one too. Unfortunately, wasted Donatello. Oh! Speaking of which, he comes flying back in again. Dun, dun, ba, da, ba. Another stack of hype. Oh, a third now. Woo! I love it. He only went for one back one because I don't think he was confident. And there's the cross up again. I feel like you know some of the strings they're different for each turtle depending on their weapon. Looks a lot like Raphael in particular has some really neat ways to set up that cross up. I don't know whether it's just the way Nyx is playing. I don't know whether it's the fact that Raph in particular has some specific streams that set it up better. You never know, but either way, Nyx is getting well good mileage out of it. I'm still just so surprised to see how far that Psy normal is going. I mean, is that his back one? Is that his back two? Regardless. It just seems so versatile. All oh, big block on the wake up and a clash immediately. Happy pound, not messing around. Let's see. Let's see. I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't really expect him to bet everything there. Just take a little bit of bar. Nyx had nothing to contend. You may as well leave yourself with some resources. I guess that's one of the things that Nyx is consistently spending a lot of resources. But again, that's different from character to character. Whereas to get some of the launches, Happy Pal, for that reason, with Donatello. Ooh. Actually, oh, there's a standing three instead of a back three. That's unfortunate. But like I was saying, Leonardo obviously won't have to spend meter on as much of his launches as Raphael, for instance. And because of that reason, Nyx is... Being a lot more starved meter. And what is going on here? He spent his only buy he just built. Oh. This is bad for Nyx. Oh, big opener. Oh, he missed. That's probably game. Oh, he's, dead. He's, dead. he's dead. He has no meter to push block. Oh. That was really meter management, if anything. That, that's, that's what that came down to. Nyx left himself with no bar almost every time. As soon as he got one bar, he'd spend it straight away on uh, meter burn back three by the looks of things. And then when he was left with nothing left to actually push block with. I can imagine you have to be really careful when you choose to push block Leonardo because when he goes for the meter burn version it's right at the end of the flurry which by then you've probably taken a lot of chip damage anyway. So the question is do you push block it all the time? Do you only do so when it's going to kill? Like what do you reckon the, the meta is going to be with, around the flurry? Um, I guess it depends on it, it might be circumstance dependent. If you can afford to wait then maybe wait. I think it depends how much chip damage the meter burn version actually adds because if it's not that much then maybe it's better just to you know take it but if it's the majority of the move's chip damage is after the meter burn point, then maybe it's worth trading the bar out. Is there a gap in Leo's sword flurry? Um, as far as I actually know, there is no gap in it. I think Honey, I watched Honeybee stream the other day when he was testing that, and uh, I think he had Superman set to reversal backdash, and he couldn't backdash out of it, so I'm assuming not. Whiff punish. No, not quite. There's that interaction. Good call from uh, Nyx, knowing that he's close enough. No, normally... So 400 damage into splat. Normally when you get a splat like that, you've got to sacrifice quite a lot of damage for it, but Raft seems to do so much damage anyway. When you go for the knockdown or that splat situation, you've done a ton of damage anyway, so I mean, why not go for it? Oh, anti-air. There you go, confirming into the flurry again. I think I'm just trying to take some damage. Good block on Donatello. Oh, but again, that <laughs> smash. I mean, that's so tricky. So, so tricky. Right. 
Even though Happy Power has made a crazy comeback, making it 8-8, this could be significantly harder. If he opens him up, hang on, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, tries to end the Turk smash. What? Wait a minute. Was that a setup? I wonder if that was intentional. It was nice, whatever it was. Yeah, even if there was a gap, it might chew up the back dash. Or, or the fact that it is so fast. Oh, another cross up. That is so tricky, man. So tricky. Keep things a bit regular. He's going to whiff punish that with no. Ops actually keeps the bar again. I think Happy Power really does want to have the bar. I love that Nyx is actually going for those individual staggers. On block, he's going to get good pressure anyway on hit. Unclashable. Just take it. Oh, can't get a cross up. Full combo coming in. Oh, oh no. no. Does the standing three instead. He's just pressing uh -oh. the standing three too early off the jump in. And Nyx, he's not going to be remotely interested in taking a full combo here. He just needs to get good block. He needs to get maybe one meter burn back three. Speaking of which, Nyx could do a back three at this point And Happy Power is within kill range for it. How come no one plays Mike? Oh, we have a couple of Mikey players for you guys tonight. Oh, nice. Nyx, though. Really cuts the damage without the back oh. three, but like, to keep the corner positioning a lot, bit, bit, bit more intelligent, I think, really, there. Oh, oh not again. Not but again. he can't convert into a back three because of just the way the animation works. He's got to try and get it without it. But this is definitely Nyx's to win. Oh, he cancels the hype. Doesn't matter. There we go. Nyx looking good. He is able to get another game on the board. Now, even though Happy Power was able to climb all this way back up, I think the fact that he's been able to get another win on the board and now put himself within, you know, set point or set match, important to make That's sure he can get another win. That's actually kind of weird, right? Like, Nyx has only needed two games for... Uh-oh, <laughs> wrong character. Nyx has only needed um, two games for the longest time. And Happy Power was able to bring about, like, five games in a row, I think, to bring it to 8-8. Eight, eight. That whole time, he was only two games away from losing. And if Nyx gets this one game, that entire comeback is unfortunately kind of snuffed right at the end. Can me and Buffalo go next? Uh, yeah, sure, B-Dog. Okay. Um, we could do Hey George versus Crazy Fingers as our final one. And uh, then we could do you versus uh, Buffalo as our next match. Seeing as you're currently in the chat, it'll make a lot more sense. I know schedules can be a thing. That's kind of, I think, to be honest, actually, um, that's one thing that makes these streams a little bit difficult on our end. Because this game is so North American dominated. And a lot of the guys that actively play and do a lot of this stuff are from North America. As EU guys, you know, by the time we finish at about maybe 5, 6 o'clock, that's normally when some Americans are waking up. Where setting up a stream or setting up things is actually kind of hard when the time zones are all ski with <laughs> as a UK boy. No, absolutely. But at the end of the day, it's all trying to sync up. Like, without players, this can't happen. So we always try and um, cater to individual time zones as, as best we can. But ultimately, like, because we're the ones streaming it, it has to be an hour that we can visibly do it as well. So it's, it's kind of trying to find that balance in between. And Nick's looking like he might be able to take this first series. He's now on set yeah. point. Happy Power was climbing back up, man, but... Oh, he's, he's really, he's been consistently trying to punish with that. And whilst I know, I've, I've seen it work, I feel like you've got to time it so weirdly because of the recovery animation. Like, when it lands, he's going to get that full confirm into Donatello, which is why Happy Power's going for that punish. That said, it looks like if you do it too early or too late, I don't know which one it is, you can miss it because he's crouching it. But there we go. Happy Power has another life bar. This is a bit of a last lifeline, really. Uh-oh. Doing that stream by itself, doing 128 damage. I mean, that's still like 12% of your life. It's going to add up quite quickly. Oh, did he backdash that first back one? Cross Ooh. up stuff. Raw launch. Catches him on the ground. I actually think he could have got Donatello on that, but I'm not sure he was quite ready. There's the flurry, of course. We'll meet you, burn it to stay safe. Hold the mix. Oh, no, just mid-pressure. Down challenge. Oh, cross up. That is so good. Shredder's got nothing on you. That's because I'm fighting. <coughs> And that is how it's been working out the whole, this whole series. Happy Power was almost like 20 games in and is still really struggling to block the Shell Smash. You know, so it's almost seeming like an unblockable at this point. Because because you have to literally physically block the other way. I mean, he's got so much other pressure tools he can catch you with. It almost seems kind of risky to, to block in the other direction when he's sitting right in front of you. Nice block. Catches it. Yeah, don't let him clash. Can't even, can't allow oh, it. We're punished with Michelangelo. And again, you see, he doesn't want to let now, him clash normally, it. Normally, Happy Power would have confirmed off that. But, again, can't allow Nyx to clash. But he's allowing him to build hype. Now he's got to watch out. If he gets hit by trait, he could actually die here. Because Emperor Nyx has the bar to meter burn the, the uh, trait. And he'll get full combo off it. He has three levels. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. He's got Wrath back. It's level four. Max the hype. He's near the jukebox. That's the guaranteed hype. There it is. He's Max. Locked and loaded. 
Now the question is, can he actually get it? Whoa! Every time I leave the ground, you can tell they're waiting for the dive kick. Meet a burn roll. Maybe the first time I've seen it. Michelangelo doing literally nothing. Raft coming in. Nice chip, to be honest. Oh my god. Push block. Raph again. Michelangelo, is he going to do it? Hey, oh my, what will be <gasps> the final attack? Oh no, he just went for the trait and missed. All that height building now gone. The barrels. The final barrel. Oh! <laughs> wow, and that was it. Michelangelo came through. That's 9-9. Nine, nine. We're going down to the last game. <laughs> that will hit the spot. Oh my god. What a way to start off our night of turtles. Save me from the wee turtles. They were too quick for me. Ah! Now, this is it. Nine, if nine. I don't save the wee turtles, who will? Is it going to be Gorilla City? Go on. Go on, give us Go a on. Gorilla City. Oh. Oh. I mean, who do we even think is going to take this? This is, uh, this I is honestly couldn't tell you. Because it's like Happy Power has had the, the clutch factor, but... At the same time, Nyx did just take a game a few ones ago. First hit. First hit going to Happy Power is super good because Nyx losing that mix-up element. Like, right, if he got the first hit, that would have been a full combo. But because he didn't, obviously no combo at all. Oh, hang on. Not going so good for Happy Power at the well, moment. It's a good start for Nyx, but at that life, that's basically one combo. Oh, good block. Michael is challenging. Oh, Big block, but blocks. doesn't attempt to punish. Oh, got the jab, but again, the, the button he confirmed into just didn't reach. That looks so weird. That would have been such a nice confirm, too. Nyx, he's going to get hype. He knows Raph was down for a little bit. Yeah, from that range, he can't get anything. Oh, a what the... Big punish, yeah, full combo for that. Just add the magic range. He does the back one too early, I think. Full combo, and yeah, there's the air tech. He builds all that hype, and you can just That's actually not a good trade for Nyx. It takes him so long to build up the hype, and then Happy Power just spending two bars to get out of it when he's building bar really quickly. Wow. That said, it's going to be set point for Nyx. This is super close. This happened last time, and Happy Power was able to bring it back. However, Nyx is working on the life feed, gets a nice deep jump in. Oh, he tries to punish, but he's too far away. Tries to go for the, uh, the counter poke as well on that. Meet your burn back three. Doesn't work out at all. And now Happy Power, gotta say, he's in big trouble. I mean, is this gonna be the end of Happy Power? Is he gonna put in all that work to make a full set comeback and then literally fall at the final hurdle? Maybe. Oh, it's, it's looking likely. And it's just going from bad to worse. He's just stabbing down chunk after chunk of life. And now he's got such little left. And again, Happy Power getting the odd wayward hit, but just isn't able to turn it into good damage. Tries to punish a little bit slow. Michelangelo catching a tiny bit. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, that's not good. That's not good because now Nick's in a situation. Now he's within. Ooh. Oh, now he's within, he's within back three range. I like it. He went straight in for the trait. Good block, but manages to recover in time. Too late on the punish. Oh. And Nix is just going to, with a quick stab and an overhead, going to take the first series 10 to 9. That was a really good start. You know, I'm super surprised that. Um, I'm super, super surprised that that, pu that final punish on the Shell Smash didn't land. But I yeah. guess there's so much knockback on it. I actually kind of feel really bad for Happy Power in that respect. Because the shells, not being able to block the Shell Smash is what lost him so many games. And what lost him the set was successfully blocking it, but punishing late. That's, uh, you hate to see that kind of thing.